I've got my stress cow here. He's supposed to relieve stress. Why am I doing this here on this street corner, University and Milton Street in Montreal? Because behind me is a building that has a lot of meaning for me. This is where Hans Seye, the father of stress, lived in the 1960s, and that building eventually was converted to the first ever stress institute. It's also very important for me because back in the 1960s, for the first time ever, I went to a public lecture. My parents dragged me here to McGill. They were Hungarian, Seye was Hungarian, therefore we had to go see. I didn't understand much of what he said. He talked about cortisol and cortisone and stress hormones, but he told a story which I have always remembered. He said, you may go out of this lecture today and find a parking ticket on your car. And you have a choice. You can rip it off of the car, stomp on it, and get all angry about the unfairness of the policeman who gave you this ticket. Or you can recognize that you made a mistake, calmly remove the ticket, and end up paying for it. The financial cost is the same in both cases, but the cost to your health is not. In one case, you get angry, your cortisol levels rise. And cortisol was important to say In that building behind me, below the window where he lived, there's a crest. And into that crest, he carved a model of the cortisol molecule. And it is still there today. So every time I come by here, I always look up there because it's very meaningful, because it represents the first public lecture that I ever attended. And of course, I have kind of made a career out of carrying out public lectures. And stress is one topic that I've often talked about. And you know what? There's some stress going on here right now because we have a cement truck parked here. He agreed to turn off his, his uh, mixer for just about five minutes so we can do this video. And it's just about to come back on. So I'm really stressed making sure that I finish this on time. So uh, maybe my little pick here will de-stress me better than the cow did.